What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be giving you one of my favorite little spacing concepts out of the Gun Bunch. This is really, really good. Uh, we've been talking a lot about you know what it would look like to run your bunch to the short side and how that can maybe even be a better way to run bunch, at least in some scenarios. And we're going to be continuing that conversation in this video. Now we're going to be going over the play um, Pat's Curl Flat. I really like this play for this. This is a very um, I just think it's a very good concept, especially if your opponent is wanting to run a lot of Mabel coverage, okay? This is going to kill Mabel coverage. Um, it's just going to make it really hard for them to consistently stay in that. Um, so anyway, the setup is really simple. Now, real quick, if you if you don't know, I'm in the Patriots playbook, and um, I actually have a full Patriots ebook out that breaks down every formation in depth. So if you want to get that ebook, get that full tutorial of this Patriots playbook, then you can get that in the link down below. I put a link in the description for you. If you've not gotten it, I would encourage you to get this. This is kind of the, the pinnacle of offense in Madden 22, in my opinion. And uh, it's going to be really, really good in Madden 20, uh, or Madden 21. And then it's going to be really good in Madden 22, uh, from what I've played on the beta. So all we're going to do with this, um, it's actually really, really simple. So most people, when they run bunch, they come out with their bunch to like this, to the wide side of the field, okay? Um, so what we can do is we can actually put Evans on a post with Hot Route Master. Most of you probably have that at this point. And then we can just simply flip the play. Okay, so you see it looks just like this. Now, the only adjustment we're going to make is we're just going to put the circle receiver on a hitch. That's pretty much it. Um, and then we're just going to snap the ball. And what you're going to see that this is going to do against Mabel coverage is you're going to have one of these three spacing concepts pretty much wide open every single time. Now, typically, uh, what's going to happen is, and if I put him in motion, it probably is more likely to happen. Uh, but typically, their user is going to be over here, and they're going to have that kind of setup. Now, if I put the circle receiver in motion just a step, I just have to get him outside the numbers. But see that when I motion him out outside the numbers, that curl flat is basically going to defend nobody. He's not going to defend the flat, and he's not going to defend the um the curl route at all this is why i love this concept so um because and the reason is because it's really simple spacing uh it, it honestly is uh again all we're doing is we're hitching r1 and then again you can do anything you want with square we're going to come back to him in just a minute i'm going to give you a setup that i really like um i'm going to give you a couple things on that solo side but this these three receivers to the to the um to the um boundary here makes this curl route to circle really hard to stop as long as he's on or outside the numbers so you see right here he's just to the inside of the numbers just a smidge so i just want to go like that and as you see i just motion him and look at that right there it's so open against that coverage an easy 15 10 to 15 yards okay um so now let's talk a little bit about you know again now again let's say that they um you know let's let's say that they blitz you okay let's just say that they blitz you right um, and you get a look like this. If you get a look like this, uh, R1 should be open every single time. So again, you just do this simple little motion, and you see R1 is wide open against the blitz for about 10 to 15 yards every single time. Um, the other thing I really like about this is it really does take away their ability to blitz. Now, if they go man out of a blitz look, um, I would say it's the best chance they have. Um, what you can do on this left side is you can actually run a slant route to Evans um, or a post route or an out route, okay? You can do anything you want to him over there. But let me just show you this. When circle turns around, he's going to beat man every time just like that, okay? So really smooth against man. Now let's talk about this uh, solo receiver solo receiver side against uh, against this. Most people, um, you see this in trips tight end a lot. People like to run the play curl flat from trips tight end where they basically have a flat route and a curl route. I just want to show you what this concept looks like out of this play. Uh, and again, this is primarily to focus on these two receivers to the left. So what we see here is if I try to throw this route, it's going to get either intercepted or swatted every single time. Um, it's not a good look. Okay, and here's the coaching point or the concept um, you want to learn concepts over technique, in my opinion, because a concept can be transferred and applied to other formations. So here's the here's the coaching point. A short side concept is to use a curl flat. As a wide side concept, we want to try to do something maybe a little bit differently. Because if I run a curl, I'm just going to do it on the side here. 
I'm going to put brown on a curl, and I'm going to put Godwin on a, on a flat route. And I just want you to watch. At least one of them is open, right? And if I motion that circle receiver outside the numbers, both of them will be open, as we just showed you that. So why is it not the same on the left? Well, because of field and where zones go to. Um, and so what we see from this purple zone is a purple zone is typically going to stop inside of, of, uh, of a curl route. So what we can do is we can basically put a smart routed out route there with maybe a streak to the back and look at this. Pass lead up, easy dot against cover three. Easy dot against cover three. Now we already know that if they are shading their coverage up and they're sending pressure at us, this is probably my favorite blitz beater in the game, a 10 yard out route. It beats man in the zone, okay? If they blitz us from man or zone, this side of the field is gonna be money. This side of the field to the left is going to be absolute money because they have to defend two people. They have to defend the back and they have to defend this. This right here is so smooth. Um, and look at that right there. Seam flat didn't even react to it. Um, now, a seam flat, I would tell you that a seam flat, like if you get a blitz, throw the running back. I'm just going to tell you that. But if you, if you, you know, if you have time in the pocket and you get a look like that right there on that side of the field, okay, if you get a look like that, this is where you can really target your out route. So again, we're just going to put that smart routed out route out there. Pass lead it up, and you have a dot. Okay. Now, um, the other thing that I was going to talk about, again, wide side versus short side concepts and how a defense is going to play. One of the things that you probably noticed through watching this video is that the defense plays wider to the wide side. The zones widen out to the wide side because they have more field to go to. What that means though, is the inside of the field on that hash mark, that inside left hash becomes wide open. So what we could do is we could do a simple uh, slant to flat concept. And what you'll see is this slant route will get wide open and that flat will pull all the zones out of the way for you. This is also good against man pressure you know, if you wanted to be able to be uh, to be able to beat that coverage. And then one last way that you could probably run this, in my opinion, and have a lot of success is through using things like smart routed in routes or just simply using a post route. The reason I like a post route, skinny post, um, if you take a look, if you watch this, you see here that there is a chance to get over the top of that cover three if the coverage breaks down. So I love the skinny post. Um, we talked earlier in the video about using the flip trick where we basically put him on a post and then we flip the formation and, and basically just simply put the put the back on a table and put the um, put the R1 on a hitch. All right, we talked about that a second ago. Uh, so you see right there. And now we have that same concept on that left side, except now we got a post route coming across and it can get in that little pocket right there. Okay, so that is how you can really leverage this idea of short side and wide side concepts and piecing the two of them together to make a really, really tough route combo. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to get the New England Patriots offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that down in the description. You can get that pretty cheap right now, and it's going to be a great way to start preparing for Madden 22.